This is the example problem on slide um, 94 of our chapter 14 PowerPoint. And this is an example of a titration problem, which we you will be conducting um, next week uh, in your lab activity. So this might be good to watch or pay attention to. So um, this is the titration of an acid. And it states, if 16.3 milliliters of a 0.185 molar strontium hydroxide solution is used to titrate the hydrochloric acid in 0.025 liters of gastric juice, what is the molarity of the HCl solution? And then they give us the balanced equation, which is very nice, very helpful. We're going to end up using that. So um, if you recall learning stoichiometry towards the middle of the semester. It was kind of a little bit before um, spring break. This is kind of a similar case. So if you are following along on your PowerPoint, if you go to slide 95, this is kind of our roadmap to how we're going to calculate the ultimate, ultimately what we're looking for, molarity of HCl. And remember, units of molarity are moles over liters. That's going to become important. So first thing we're going to do is take the milliliters of our strontium hydroxide, convert it into liters, use the molarity to get into moles of strontium hydroxide, then use the mole to mole ratio or mole to mole factor from our equation to get into moles of HCl. And then a final step is going to be to divide moles over liters to get molarity. So this is a multi-step, multi-process um, problem. And I'm going to try and walk you through it the best that I can. So here's the information that we can glean from the problem. 16.3 mils of 0.185 molar strontium hydroxide. And then we also know the volume of our HCl solution. So the thing that we know more about, we know a volume and molarity of our strontium hydroxide, that's what we're going to start with. So I'm going to start with volume. And in order to cancel out our bottom unit on molarity of liters, we're going to need to convert this from milliliters to liters. So remember that a thousand milliliters equal one liter. So we're starting off with 16.3 milliliters of, and I'm gonna write it up here so I save some room, strontium hydroxide. I don't know how long of a line I'll need, but we're gonna go with it. So. First thing I'm going to do is get from milliliters to liters using my ratio that I just wrote right here. So unit you want to cancel goes on the bottom, 1,000 milliliters in one liter. So milliliters are canceled out. We're now in units of liters. To use my mole to mole ratio, I need to be in units of moles. So what I can do is I'm going to consult my 0.185 molar strontium hydroxide. Remember, molarity is moles over liters. So I'm going to write it down at the bottom here. This 0.185 molar is like saying 0.185 moles over one liter. So in order to cancel out liters, I'm going to put the one liter at the bottom and the 0 0.185 moles at the top. And this is strontium hydroxide. Make sure we're labeling that because that's going to be important for canceling. So then liters and liters are going to cancel. Now is the time, now that I'm in moles, so 
you're looking at your sample problem, um, this is um, kind of the orange little step here. We're going to use the mole to mole factor um, to get from moles of strontium to moles of HCl. So here's where we're going to go back up to our equation and consult it. So moles of strontium is what we're concerned with. And we want to get into moles of HCl. So therefore, I can write a ratio, one mole of strontium hydroxide, since I don't have any numbers in front of it in the equation, equals two moles of HCl. And that comes from the fact that that has a two in the coefficient. So then moles of strontium cancel and I'm left in moles of HCl. So I'm going to go ahead and that's plenty of steps. I'm going to go ahead and solve for moles of HCl. Everything's canceled out except for moles of HCl. And so if I plug that in should give me 0 0.006 zero three moles HCl. Now ultimately it's asking us to solve for molarity which is moles over liters. So I have my mole component of HCl. My liter component, this little green highlighted number that we have not used yet, that's what I'm going to divide my moles of HCl by because that's the volume of HCl that we used. So 0 0.00603 moles of HCl over 0 0.025 liters of HCl. If we plug that in, it becomes, remember, molarity is moles over liters, so I basically just built this unit. Um, that's going to be equal to 0 0.241 molar HCl. And that is your final answer. So quite a lot of work um, for this one little number. Um, but that's basically the gist of doing a titration calculation. So you'll be doing that with next week's lab or, well, this week's lab.